hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today is the first time i'm using the ordinary product so i'm just gonna show you what i'm using for my nighttime you know skincare routine it's not only the ordinary i'm not just using the ordinary because my cleanser and my hyaluronic acid is not from the ordinary I'm just clarifying to you that I'm using other products as well apart from the ordinary that's how my skin looks like now you see I've got all these you know blemishes or how you call it spots I usually get my acne here and a little bit on my cheeks but it's usually here that's the annoying part I'm gonna be documenting the process of my skin throughout for about 30 days I know the lighting is not the best so please bear with me so I'm gonna start by cleansing my face I'm using this so that's vitamin E hot cloth cleanser it comes with a cloth which I don't really use I use a microfiber cloth to remove everything after I cleanse my skin so let's get into it So now, after cleansing my face, I always use clean towel for that. I'm gonna go for my hyaluronic acid. That's the one I'm using at the moment. It's from Superdrug Me Plus. So I've only started using this recently. It's quite... It's quite deep. I don't like the stick. And now I'm going to be using the vitamin E um, super drug a little bit under my eyes after that let's go with the ordinary products I'm gonna use the niacinamide so one drop I think it should do the job I think it's enough don't rub it up. And then I'm moving on with the vitamin C. I think it has some stuff in it. Look. You see? But I feel that I have some stuff on my face right now. It's like peeling off. My face is peeling off. Right, my face is peeling off with that and I'm not sure why. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this. I'm a bit confused at the moment. Look. Look. I'm a bit confused now. Why is that happening? Yeah, so I was just reading from somewhere that uh, combining this product with cinnamide is not really ooh, ideal 
so I'm just wondering when should I use this product and when should I use niacinamide because using niacinamide in the morning with the lactic acid it's just it sings a little bit where my you know acne is the strong tickling but not irritating sensation is expected during the first two weeks which this is what I'm feeling at the moment it's just confusing to me but gotta give it a try isn't it hello everyone this is day she said when's it Thursday Friday this is day four of using the ordinary products I still can't see much difference so I figure out a way on how to use the products remember how confused I was on how to use those products so first thing I'm gonna be you know cleansing my skin with a cleanser then apply my um, hyaluronic acid then apply the uh, either lactic acid or the niacinamide so one day I will be using the niacinamide the next day I will be using the lactic acid then my sunscreen and last thing my moisturizer so yesterday I used the niacinamide so for today I'm gonna be using the lactic acid let's start with the hyaluronic acid first Then I'm using my eye cream and then I'm applying my sunscreen before applying my moisturizer it's good to put it on your eyelid as well protect even your ears and you're supposed to reapply moisturizer uh, sunscreen you out every two hours but I'm very bad at it when I used to live in Cyprus I would never put anything on my face whatsoever but as a kid I remember I used to have some sun patches here I don't know if you can see it yeah it's a little you see all that it was quite more you know it was more obvious at that time I was really quite insecure about it but you know as a kid I wouldn't know how to fix it let's carry on with the moisturizer that's a moisturizer I really like this moisturizer it actually makes my skin feel a bit it's quite I feel like it's quite light and it sits well with my uh, sunscreen I also want to try the chemical peel from the ordinary but obviously now I can't use any harsh product so that's day four of using the ordinary product I like my natural kills today look so cute so yeah I just wanted to film quick because my battery is dying just to show you how my face looks like after about two weeks of using the ordinary I'm, I'm having some breakouts which is to be expected as I'm always get I'm always getting breakouts I don't see the full benefits yet but I'm sure that I need to give it a bit more time something I've noticed I had like a black I don't know if you can see it I had something here and it, it had a, a black spot but now it's gone which you know that's one of the things I've noticed oh, I'm always so itchy anyway so yeah that's my skin update after two weeks I hate the breakouts 
and that's me before applying any BB cream or makeup or whatever uh, this is um, I'm not sure what day it is maybe it's about like a month of using the ordinary or I'm not sure to be honest I will check so yeah that's how my skin look looks at the moment I've got some I wouldn't say dryness here I got some breakouts here in my forehead but I'm not sure if it's because of the hormones or I don't know what it is I think that I think that my skin is getting better even though I have those little breakouts and the dryness So yeah, that's. I just wanted to update you on how my skin looks like after using the ordinary for about a month. So yeah, I'm just I'm just being patient to see to see more results. Um, at the moment, I have the breakouts, which you know, I'm not sure if it's because of the hormones or if it's because my skin is is purging and all that i don't know but yeah we will monitor it and see how it goes i'm not wearing anything i'm just about to put um to do my skincare yeah let's just keep on using the product and and see the results hi everyone and welcome back so that's just an update on my skin i've been using now the products for about a month so the breakouts slightly going and i think my skin is improving a lot it looks more bright and that should be from the vitamin c that i put on during my uh, night skincare and um, I think the spots as well the zinc uh, well, the niacinamide with zinc helps and the lactic acid and I think I'm I'm quite happy for now this is how my skin looks like after a month of trying the ordinary products. I don't really see much, much difference. I'm just trying to see. I can still see some blemishes, some, you know, some um, scars some acne scars so, but I can see the brightening of my face that's one thing I've noticed it looks brighter but I'm still not happy with this area especially so that's my main concern so yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update So that was the video for today I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for you know following me in this journey my skincare journey I will keep you posted and uh, I can't wait to give birth and then you know um, make some changes uh, into my um, skincare and, and incorporate more products from the ordinary and maybe other brands as well and and yeah I'm currently in Cyprus 
so I'm going to be having some good material coming soon on my channel. So just keep on watching. So what do you think about my skin now? I think it looks a bit brighter to be honest. Definitely much, definitely brighter and moisturized. Don't forget to subscribe, support the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.